G'day, Bob here. So this game's called Her Story. It's reminiscent of the terrible full motion video games back in the 90s, except this one's actually half decent. The protagonist of the game isn't really known, but we can assume that we're uh, some sort of a journalist, a uh, private detective, maybe a, even a crime novelist or a, an ex uh, an ex policeman who's come back to review some cold case files. Anyway, the game mechanics work is that you go through the the old footage and try and figure out uh, what actually happened. It's not like uh, normal normal interview footage where you'd be able to rewind and play through the entire extent of the thing but instead it's all in short little clips where you find by looking with specific search terms um, so anyway let's all pretend to be some amazing detectives get ourselves out a, a bottle of the old whiskey light up a cigarette and kick it old school We'll have a bit of a read of what our friend sent to us and see what's going on. So hey, here's the database. I filed Freedom of Information form to get the guest access. Everything seems to work. They transferred the videos off the original tapes in 1999, um, and then the and then the not Y2K thing hit, and they got mothballed. It's a terrible sentence, anyway. No one has touched them since. I can't find the server uh, with the detective's footage on it. Possibly those tapes got damaged when the old archives flooded in 97. But figure this would be enough. Take care, SB. I assume SB's our friend. And let's keep going. So, I haven't put a term in here. It's automatically put one in for myself, which is just murder. So let's see what murder comes up on the the search. You think it's murder? I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? So, now I've got to pick another term. So, she did say, what can I do to help? Help seems like a, a fairly broad term that would come up a lot throughout what she's saying. So let's give that a stab. Do a bit of detective work and see what she says. So, it was Friday evening. We had an argument. He left. On Saturday, he didn't come back. I waited all day. He was supposed to go help Eric out with something on the Saturday afternoon. They had a job. He didn't show. So Eric was ringing on the phone. I checked at The Rock. That's our local. They said they'd seen him on the Friday night, but not since. He still wasn't back this morning. It just isn't like him at all. Still not back by dinner time. It's getting dark again. So I decided to come see you. His parents haven't heard anything either. So apparently her, I assume, boyfriend has gone missing on Saturday. So I, I've got myself a little notebook to do a bit of detective work here, so I'm scribbling down some notes. So I picked up Saturday, Eric, and the local, which I assume is a local pub. So we'll give a another little search um, Eric's probably a very good a good start I'm sure they'll find a lot so see what she's got to say about Eric he was wearing um, a shirt that's not very a specific blue turtleneck shirt that's a bit jeans. better he has a watch it's a really nice one that was a gift from his boss Eric Mm. Oh, his boss is there. Coat, a long grey duffel coat, black pants in there. Uh, he would have taken that with him. It's not in the house. So we go find out the name of the boyfriend, I guess. 
I assume, I thought it was Eric, my bad. But the name of the boss is actually Eric. So let's try Saturday. Because that's when it all went down, so... She's wearing different clothes than this, so see if that makes a difference. Mm. I left the next day, Saturday. I slept for a few hours in the car. And when I woke up, I came straight back. Uh, Simon wasn't returning my calls and I wanted to try and make up. I got back to the Simon. house. And Simon wasn't there. And I... Is there a bin? It was a bit over the top of throwing up, but I think we got the point. So, Simon. Simon. Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work. Mirror making, feature windows, artistic things. Really beautiful things. All right. Wasn't overly specific, but let's keep moving on. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. Um, he's clean shaven. If his beard grows, it goes ginger, so he shaves it. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair. Uh, and bought a photo. They said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. Hates rangers. That's going down. All right. Next one. It's the Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. And the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter says Help. Simon had been in and had a few drinks. So, we've got a new name, Helen. Let's go with that one. Sorry, I'm typing one hand because I'm old my. Detective's notebook in the other. <laughs> Only two accounts of this. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Yeah. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes, Helen. Peter said Simon had been in and had a few drinks. He's Peter. Peter. You sexy beast. All right, we'll try this other Helen, and then we'll try Peter. No. I think he spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. He likes Helen. He likes blondes. Blondes. He likes blondes, does he? Keeping that one down. He likes... Sexy... Six E Blondes Peter question mark <laughs> Only one fan. I assume that's what we just listened to. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Yep. Yeah. Susan? Was it? Hang on. It's the Rockington Arms, the Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. Yep, Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with. Try Susan. <laughs> Only one. Um. Hmm. Try 
What do they call this place? It's the Rockington Arms. Rockington Arms. The Rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that some likes to drink with. Alright. Rockington. <laughs> Just that. Hmm. That's a bit of a dead end. Oh, blondes. She's playing a guitar. Go hear this. You want me to play something? Well, I'm not the world's greatest Okay. Mm. Well, it needs some tuning. No. It's okay. Okay. Well, I'm not the Come on. There were two sisters came walking by the sea. Oh, the wind and the rain. The eldest one pushed the other. Traditional ballad. Fantastic. This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Blonde wig? Have you looked at the cat flap? Blonde wig, cat flap. Hmm, and he comes up once. Could the hairs have come from somewhere else? I mean, could they... Hairs. We have a lot of dolls in the attic. There's a Rapunzel doll with long blonde hair. Could they have come from there? So, someone's been dropping some hairs, molten some shit. Spoke to Helen. She said he was upset about her argument, but I'm not sure what else he said. Yeah. Um, Sam is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build. He's clean shaven. Yeah. Heard those. Alrighty, right. So, cut. 
cat. Cat will do. It's a thing for cats, apparently. No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Or there's a cat flap in the back door. Hang on. Is that that again? No, they were shut. Most of the windows are really hard to open anyway. They're stifling in summer. They were painted over by my dad. Could have left a door open accidentally. Or there's a cat flap in the back door. No, no cat. My parents had a cat before they died called Domino. It was this little black thing with white dots. We never did anything about the cat flap, but... Domino? If you were thin, you could maybe squeeze through it. This other person doesn't exist. I don't know what the blonde wig is, but it could be anything. Have you looked at the cat flap? What cat flap? When we weren't together, we'd send secret messages by tapping out a code that we'd learn from a book. The knock code. Knock code? Something prisoners of war would use. We'd tap them out on radiator pipes or the attic floor. Crack have you been smoking? Good. Get a bit inside. Dad thought we had mice, but they couldn't find any. Bought a cat anyway. Okay. Let's try this one. We loved our cat, Domino. Um, he had this little bell around his neck to stop him from killing birds in the garden. And we used to write each other notes and put them in the bell and we could send them to each other. Mum found some of the notes once and she thought I was just writing to myself because our handwriting was identical. And we had our own words for things, so she didn't quite understand them anyway. Mm-hmm. Let's try this out uh, of curiosity. Any one for accidentally? Alright, try the knock code. It's one again. Domino? Two? No. Not onto anything there. Oh, it's ranked. Hmm. I might have to go back to just the old school Eric and Simon. I assume what's. God damn it. Like, can I? We'll have a little squeeze what you got to say about them. I assume it's my pen. Those two names are going to be exceptionally important. Well, at least one of them. Simon assumes the boyfriend. Eric uh, assumes the boss. So I'll have to go through both of those. But other things like the other names don't seem overly important. So it's just go through them, be back in two seconds.